I'm gonna, I'm gonna peel a little bit of this remaining velvet off so we'll get a little more detail on the mold. But basically we're working on time here, you know, while this deer's down. And uh, you see how these were cut. And if you don't get your angles just right, trying to put them back together, uh, you know, if you were just trying to build something to this, it's hard to get them exactly right. But we're going to make a mold where it goes back exactly how it goes. Now, what you want to do here, like I say, just kind of clean it off a little bit. And, and that's not even a big major part, but at least, at least having the right structure. This stuff here is called Equinox 35. It's a silicone putty, basically, and it sets up almost immediately. You got, you got about a minute's working time at the most, which is a good thing in this case because you don't have to sit there and wait for it. And it's a putty, so you, it allows you to, to work it with your hands. Yes, do not wear, uh, do not wear latex gloves. These are a, a vinyl type base glove. And it's, 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 a, it's just a uh, two parts that mix equal parts together. So, it just almost, yeah, it's almost, just get you roughly uh, stuff that's equal parts and then start mixing them together real fast. And you're mixing enough right now for both sides? No, I'm doing enough for one, I'm doing one side. And just start, because you don't have, you don't have time to work at that. It, it, it literally sets up, Wait. it literally sets up in a, in a minute. And that, now, it, the finished mold takes a little longer, but. How many bucks can you do with one, one of these kits? This kit here is probably only gonna do one or two bucks. You know, and this stuff is about about forty about forty bucks for this uh, this size kit. You can get it in bigger quantities, but it's simply just mix it up. And you're gonna take it, and we're gonna try to move your hair back, and just it's a it's a uh, impression mold. If you get a little hair in there, it's not the end of the world for what we're trying to get to do. But press it real good and make it press into each all the detail. And you'll see that when I get through here. Make a good, make sure that it's pressed into the bone good and around the base is good all the way down. And this is not hurting him at all. He's asleep. He might not would approve if he was awake. This stuff's pretty much starting to start to set. And it's not a perfect, perfect, it's a it's a very good guideline to go by in this amount of time. And we'll let that one kind of set, well, we'll put set. One and we'll do us another one. Take this, it's an, it's an impression mold. Just like false teeth. It, it's exactly the same stuff that a lot of dentist type people use to make a, it's exactly what it is. Better save some of that, I may need it for long. <laughs> well, <laughs> I have the stuff to make teeth too. Okay. I may have to go into that, right. might be a more profitable business. What do you think about your buck, Chubb, when you had him in the Oh, back? he's bigger than I thought he was. He's a pretty deer. He don't look so big right now. <laughs> kind of like a spike. Yeah. Kind of like a spike. He's gonna be real embarrassed about his horns being gone. He was real proud of them. Well, but you see how this is going on? Just just press it into the into that bone, and it catches all the detail too. But the the main thing it's doing is getting the exact piece. And I'll show you how to make a cast onto that too, Matt. Okay, I'm gonna lift this off of here now. And I'll show you the detail of that. It doesn't look like much, but when I pour a mixture into here, it's going to be an exact match, you know, back to, back to his antler. And we'll show you how to do that. But that's, that's, it's uh, real simple. 
and it's way better to have than not to have. And, it, and it's not costing you a lot of time. And what we want to do here is this is a left side. So I need to keep up with that or that would be confusing. You put an L on it? Yes, I do. Yeah. Okay. Make sure that you write on these bases the right and the left side for sure and what deer they go to. Make sure you put it on there because if you got multiple deer you're doing, you start laying these around then you can't figure out which one. It's very important. It, the whole purpose of this is to make it exact back to, to match your cutoff and if you'll keep up with what side is what which and what animal it goes to it will be a perfect match uh, back to, to putting these together if you want to put them together for even for your own self or for display or for whatever reasons you want to put them back together for most people get them back together put them on some type of mount for display this is the way to do it all right now we have these molds here we're going to spray these molds with a release. It's real simple. It's just to keep the casting from sticking to it. It's a light mist. And that allows the stuff to come out of our molds. And what I'm using here is a, it's just a casting. It's a smooth cast, 300. There's two parts. You mix them equally together and they set up and uh, picks up all the detail you know, out of your mold. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mix equal parts of this A and B and mix them together and stir it up. It is pretty important to have it as close as you can get it to perfect, especially when you're doing a small amount. Okay, now take these two components, we're gonna mix them together equally. And you got about two minutes of working time here. So I'm gonna stir this up for a good 60 seconds, probably. Yep, see how fast that can set. Once it sets, it's done. Yes, once it turns white like that, it and it's not done, it's still not hard hard, but it's, yeah, you're through pouring it. And we'll give that a minute and we'll pull it out of the mold. Bridge on this one. Hopefully I've got enough. It's very hot on my hands. And it gels up fairly quick. And I'm gonna take this other one out of the mold for you. If you have to bust it out a little bit, it's okay. You can glue that back together if you need another one. But there's the piece that we cut off. That's the right or left side? Left. Should be the left. 
Now, what are you putting on it to put them together? I use uh, either sometimes sometimes epoxy or a, a, like a fiberglass bondo. Uh, works good either way. But if you look at the shape of it and line it back up, because obviously if you put it on any other way, it would be wrong. But if you it'll line it up, you can actually see all the fine detail of every little line. And this way it gives you the you get your exact angle back, not to mention you have a, uh, a nice piece that uh, will blend in together and look real natural. But at the same time, it gives you your exact, you know, it's not any guesswork on, well, is it two inches, three inches, or even the, the this angle is very important to get back this this angle because you could go a lot of different ways with that and if you'll take your measurements on your spread and your main beam tip to tips uh, you'll know how to put it all back together <laughs>